What up, folks? I'm Ultra Zillant. I have a review of the Super 7 Ultimate Transformers Grimlock. That's right, my zillions. Finally got Grimlock from Wave 2 of the Transformers Ultimates. And um, this is the only one I pre-ordered out of a Wave 2. Doesn't mean I will not get, you know, some of the others because I ended up getting all of Wave 1 after just pre-ordering uh, Optimus. But Grimlock is my jam, you know? Like, I love me some Grimlock. Uh, and I, I had to have uh, this one. It just looked really cool. I love this box. It's very awesome. Really like the art here. It's very, very nice. It kind of continues on here. It's nice gold outline. It says Autobots here, which is cool. Big Autobot symbol on the back. Grimlock on that side. It is very awesome. If you want to then know your new two Super 7 Ultimates and you didn't see uh, some of my other reviews I've done of them, um, they all come in these big shipper boxes. So it's uh, well protected. Um, but, you know, not protected from the likes of me because <laughs> I'm not good at keeping my boxes great. But, oh, there we go. That's what the inside looks like. You get a lot of box. Yeah, what I'm talking about is uh, right up here. Putting this guy back on, I cracked the box. Uh, it is what it is. Oh, uh, an interesting note. For some reason, the back tray, some of the stuff was falling out of it. I, I don't think I've ever had that happen before on an Ultimates, but like the hands were falling out. They weren't properly, um, uh, two of the hands, two of the four extra hands uh, weren't properly secured. Uh, and then um, the little tray he comes with wasn't properly secured either. But that's the layout. Here's uh, your tech specs on the back. But we're not about to hear about that. We hear about the figure. So what I'm going to do, let's get to the review. And here is a Grimlock out of the package. And um, he's awesome. He, I, I love him. Uh, and this might be my favorite Ultimates of the year. I'm um, just going to say that right now. You know, I got to wait out a little bit. You know, I, I don't know that for 100% sure. But right out of the package, um, it was like a no doubt. I love this thing. Um, I really, really do. Again, like I said, I love Grimlock. Huge fan. And I love him in this mode. So I'm really, really happy that Super 7 gave him to us in this mode. Now, Super 7, Grimlock's robot mode is quite iconic too, so I'm hoping you guys do that as well. Uh, but this this is a pretty cool, and he's got really good articulation um, for this robot, for this Ultimates figure. Mouth opens and closes. The head moves like so. It also moves up and down like that. Then his neck moves there, you know, as well as there. So two points there. Then shoulders have a hinge. You have a swivel, hinge and a swivel at the elbow, hinge and a swivel at the wrist. You have articulation right there. It just, you know, it just swivels, but that's okay. Uh, then you have a swivel at the base of the tail, which is pretty much like his whole bottom. And then at the tip of the tail, this is on a big old ball joint. So it's not like a ton of range of motion, but it swivels too. Uh, but it feels good. Oh, uh, this is on a big ball joint too. Like, it's not a ball joint. It's like a big, I don't know. It's kind of like a ball joint. But it moves out and in and uh, all of that. So that's pretty good. Then uh, the legs go outwards on a hinge. Not super far, but they go out and then they go back and forth. Then you have the hinge here at the knee. And then you have a swivel there as well. And then you have a hinge in the front uh, toes and a hinge at the back toe. So um, I, does this Grimlock, who I didn't expect this sort of articulation on, have possibly the best articulation of any Super 7 Ultimate figure? I think it does, actually. <laughs> uh, functionally, it's pretty awesome. And um, he's not really loose at all. He's just really good in the articulation department uh, and how that all feels working. So, yeah. Thumbs up here, guys. This is a good, good start. 
And you know, looks wise, it continues that good start. He's just really nice. That is pretty spot on Grimlock to both the cartoon, you know, and sort of the old toy. It's got like a little mix of both. Um, cause I think in the show, like he's got a much, much longer tail. Uh, but you know, the, the toy was like, the G1 toy was like very like stubby. Um, so this is like a nice, balance but he looks really nicely animated and i really really like that a lot you know he's not perfect he's got some little nicks like he's got like a nick in the plastic right on his nose which is a little bit of a bummer i really can't do anything about that but like it's kind of like a like mold flash you know but it is what it is the uh i'm it's battle damage <laughs> the good old battle damage defense um I'm just saying, it's not bothering me. You know, as as a purchase, I, I just don't care. I just, I really like this overall. It's got blue eye, which looks good. The head sculpt is, you know, spot on. Teeth are the, are in gray. I got little excess plastic hanging off the front. I, I feel like I have to shave it down just a little bit. See, that's not perfectly done. Uh, not perfectly cut. But, you know. I could easily do that. That's not even uh, uh, much of an issue. Um, the teeth look good again, except for that. But, you know, I could get over that. I mean, I could fix that. Then I shouldn't have to. But, you know, that's like, you know, that's going to happen on a lot of different figures. Um, then you got the little red in the middle for his, uh, you know, beams and whatever. Flames and... Hot air. Sometimes he blows hot air. Uh, and then I like this little sculpt piece here, which looks cool. It looks like a big ratchet joint should be there. I mean, yeah, it's not, but uh, it looks like it. Um, then you got this little thing here that uh, will be in use later. But the rest of his back looks pretty good. You got the colors on the back, the blue, the white, the red, the green. It's not perfect. Kind of bleeds into each other a little bit, but, uh, you know. I mean, it's actually perfectly done like that so uh, you know i think i could let that go um because i think it's it's actually done i don't know i guess everything is a little bit moved over but then you get to the blue and it's not like bleeding over onto the gray so uh, i don't know um not really bothering me is what i'm saying it looks like it's fine um the colors are all there the sculpt on the back is really good the sculpt on the tail big chunky tail Again, I like it. I like this little bottom part too, done in a light gray to uh, the darker gray. And then you got the legs here. The feet are in yellow. And then the legs are nice and big and blocky. Big old circle there. <laughs> Just some nice geometric shapes. Then you got the yellow over here, which connects. You do have like some seam lines on this guy that are kind of obvious, but... Again, you know, your mod's going to vary on that. It's not bothering me. I'm just, you know, pointing it out. Um, just in case it bothers you. But everything, you know, paint on the yellow is all where it's supposed to be. This is painted red. Did you see that? This is painted red. Um, that's painted red. That looks good. Autobot symbol in the middle is fine. Um, the chest itself, all around, looks pretty good. I, I do like it. Then I like the arms. I, I think they turn out really good. Just done in this, like, kind of pearlescent gray. Um, but I think they look good. The little claws look good. So, I like it. You know, you got little holes here. Like, it's like an old-style figure. Um, that, it's not like a full hole, but, you know, it works. Yellow neck looks pretty good, too. And all in all, I, I do like this guy. I think he's got good proportions. He looks good. So, I'm, I, you know, I <laughs> love the G1 um, Dinobot mode of Grimlock. And uh, I think this, this works really, really well, guys. <laughs> I'm really loving it. Um, you know, this is super cool to me. It wouldn't be a Super 7 Ultimate without some accessories, of course. And the first thing is... Some hands. Let's uh, look at them. We got some, um, I guess it's, these are holding hands. And then you got some uh, more like splayed out, like maybe fighting hands, you know? It's kind of like like rocket fist hands. Um, you know, if you take them out, you just pull those out and you pop the new ones in. 
you know, like so. And then you could be like, fire, you know, kind of slash into. <laughs> but they're good, they're, they work. But no, those uh, flat hands are actually for holding the tray. You could use it as a slash thing as well. But uh, as Super 7 Ultimates go, they do things a very episode specific sometimes and there is the one episode i believe it's in season two where he is a, a waiter for a few seconds on screen uh <laughs> and uh yeah until he follows daniel into the depths um and he's got a little waiter little apron um this is a you know in the show this is like a bow tie that goes over the apron but you know what this is good enough. And then, you know, he has the tray, right? And then he comes with a lot of cups and goblets and stuff to put on here. Different shapes in purple. <laughs> I believe there's a, a blue one, too. They're all kind of all over my desk right now. But this is so cool. This is such a cute thing, you know, for display, for photography. Here's the big blue goblet there. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think those are all of them. But th this is pretty slick. I, I really like this. Um, just a very, very cool, uh, fun little display piece. So uh, kudos, Super 7. I, I like this inclusion. And then for the holding hands, which I originally thought were for the tray, but they weren't. Um, you get a fish. That's right. Because sometimes Dinobots, for whatever reason, eat fish. Um, and this is a Cybertronian fish. This is in Cybertronian waters. Um, I believe in the episode where um, a Grimlock gets a brain. Uh, you know, he's got like some like brain thing that happens. Anyway. You can hold the fish in a number of ways, and you can have them, you know, chomp on it. So, if you put it the right way. I think I put these hands on right. But yeah, look at that. He could eat. He could eat his fish. I like the fish. Light blue, green fins and stuff, eyes, lips. Uh, it's fun. Again, I love the episode-specific stuff. It's very, very cool. I, th I think the other, I, like, I more vividly recall the other Dinobots eating fish, uh, because I think, like, Grimlock was too busy creating new robots in that episode, um, but, yeah, this is cool, I like it a lot, and uh, from that episode, you get the, uh, brain transfer device, uh, which is very, very cool, and you can put it on his head, and then if you have a Computron, <laughs> you could attach this to Computron's head, uh, and give him Grimlock's super smart brains, which he acquired in that episode by getting, like, zapped. Um, but this is cool. You got a nice gunmetal here at the end. Then you got a, like, a gray wire. Yellow. Like, you know, helmet here with the gray. It's nicely done. Yeah, this is cool. This is, this is fun. You know, again, for fun photography, you could do a bunch of, so, so, we're gonna keep this here. And we're gonna show you He's got also his crown. That's right. King Grimlock. Sometimes he wears a crown. And I, I like that too. Looks good. Sits on his head pretty well. I mean, it's not going to stay, but, you know, like if you move him around too much, hey, he's, he's doing all right. That's done all in yellow as well. So uh, two cool uh, little headgears for Grimlock. And last but not least, we get a wheelie. That's right. Now, I actually don't recall wheelie in the original solicitations for this. I could be wrong there, but I really don't recall. Um, so it was kind of a surprise for me when I opened the box and wheelie was in there. But he's in he's in the like solicitations now, but I just don't remember him. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's a very like you know basic. Wheelie, he's got gunmetal, he's got orange. I mean, you know, the paint is there. It's pretty good. He's got the Autobot symbol there. Um, yeah, he looks he looks like Wheelie. Face looks pretty good, actually. The eyes, you know, the arms, everything is good. He's got that little salmon look to him. Um, and the uh, then the arms swivel, and that's about it. 
Um, he's got a fist here. Like, it looks like he should have a slingshot, but he doesn't have one. Uh, but it, I think it looks pretty good. And that is what that is for. You sit him down uh, on Grimlock's back. Like so. And I like it. I think it's pretty awesome, guys. That's really, really cool. So, you know, if you want to do that, you can. I might actually display it like this. I might not. <laughs> There's some options here of things you can display with Grimlock. So, uh, you do get your choices, and that's what's great about the Ultimates. And for your size comparisons, first up here is a Wave 1 Ultimate Optimus Prime. And boy, do they look really good together. I really, really like them. Um, you know, it's funny. This Optimus, like, I thought he was cool when I reviewed him. Um, I guess, was that last year? Um, but, you know, he's grown on me way more since then. I, I, I really do like him. I think he's obviously very animation accurate. But, man, together... They look awesome, and, I mean, a little preview here. This guy is obviously really big. Here is Grimlock with the... Was, this was the PCS Toys version. Um, they're, they're more, like, lower-end version. Uh, I got this guy on sale at GameStop. Uh, interestingly, he's got a little nick over here, too. But I don't remember if that was a thing with Grimlock. I don't think it was. Uh, and, of course, the uh, Studio Series version. And to show him with a couple of recent Transformers drops and a couple of upcoming reviews. Here he is with Leader Nova Prime and Commander Class Ultra Magnus. And one last size comparison to show him with a couple of Super 7 Ultimates. Here he is uh, with the Thirsty for Blood Godzilla and uh, the regular Dragon Zord. So you can see, yeah, he is the biggest one of all of these. But you know what? He's not made to scale with these guys. Um, and even these guys don't really scale well together. Uh, they kind of do. Uh, you know, you can put them together if you want. But um, this guy, you know, as you saw him with Optimus, he's more, you know, to scale with their Transformers. And my final thoughts, well, this one puts a smile on my face. Uh, I think there's no doubt about it. You probably heard it throughout this review. Um, it, it just, it's, it's a really good representation of G1 Grimlock. Um, I like it. It's like a, like I said, it's like a combo of the animation and the toy, and uh, I really, really dig that. I, I really do think this cool. It's, you know, it's not perfect, but that doesn't mean it's not good. Like, I think, man, I, I think that, uh, you know, I, I, there, there's something there to be said about just having fun with a figure sometimes and not caring. Um, there's little imperfections, but... Overall, it means nothing to the, you know, how much fun this figure is. Like I said, I'm really surprised at the articulation. It's actually really good um, for both a Grimlock and a um, Ultimates figure of this shape. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. It, it's pretty good. So this is this turned out to be a really excellent one. I really do think it's my favorite Ultimates of the year um, so far. Um but I'm really, really digging it. And I, I still gotta get the Shogun Godzilla, um, so I have a really soft spot for Shogun Godzilla, so this might, that might supersede this one. But we'll see. Uh, and there might be some others that I get before here and the end of the year, but so far, I'm loving Grimlock. He makes me giddy like the others have not. And uh, there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new to the channel, why not sub yourself and uh, diversify your collection? Till next time, peace out, peeps.